Welcome to the American Dream Atlanta, a city known for its southern hospitality, one of the world's busiest airports, and the incredible food. Today we're going to take you all across town to show you the real estate, lifestyles, and culture of this diverse city. You're going to hear from award-winning real estate professionals showing you the cool stories of our neighborhood. I'm your host, Molly Morris, and this is American Dream Atlanta. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. I got it. So these are stories for you and by you. Welcome to another episode of American Dream Selling Atlanta. I'm your host, Jeremy Smith, and today we are in Buckhead. Come with me as we meet with Cody Alcorn with 11 Alive News as he practices for the Alzheimer's Association dance, Dancing with the Stars Atlanta. After that, we'll head to the Paramount Buckhead to meet with Tammy Bolt, realtor, who actually won Dancing with the Stars last year. Come with us, let's take a look. Today we're at Volga Dance Academy with Cody Alcorn, 11 Alive News, star dancer of Dancing Stars of Atlanta and his pro dancer, Elena Spencer. Thank you guys for having me today. So first, tell us a little bit about uh, Dancing Stars of Atlanta. What is this uh, competition? What is, uh, what's it all, what's the meaning behind it? Well, it's all for the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, it's their big fundraiser of the year. So yes, it is a dance competition, but the goal behind this is to raise money for research. So. It's a goal this year of a million dollars. Uh, that's what we're looking to do. So we have, I think, 18 dancers coming together and each of us have our own pros. I don't want to brag, but I think I have the best of the best this year. <laughs> well, clearly, uh, Volga Dance Academy, they've done this before, but tell us a little bit about where we're at. Yeah, so he, we're here in Volga Dance Academy. It's one of the largest studios in America for youth dancers. Um, we train kids competitively and we have a lot, already a lot of uh, national champions and we, as well we have um, couples represent USA at the Worlds. Wow. Yes. Wow. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all, Cody. What's your connection to the Alzheimer's Association? Yes, my grandmother uh, suffered from Alzheimer's uh, for almost 15 years, so I really saw the progression because you kind of go backwards in life. So it's, she went from a very healthy woman, lively woman, and you know when she passed away from complications with it, you know she was a year old. I really saw the impact not only on her, but also on my grandfather, the caretaker. And I don't think people realize uh, how much this affects families. The bad thing is there's no cure. And that's what this uh, competitions like this are to raise money and you can only imagine what a million dollars would do for research here in Georgia. So obviously you're the pro dancer here. How is it working with Cody? Is he picking it up? Is this, is this a slow process? <laughs> uh, Cody picking up really fast, sometimes even too fast. He's really good at it. Uh, we have a lot of fun working together, yeah. yes, and we are preparing some really good things. A good, uh, a good cause and have fun while you're doing it. Yeah. Well, thank you again for, for taking the time to meet with me. Thank Definitely. you so much. Next, let's head over to the Paramount Buckhead condominiums to meet with Tammy Bolt, last year's Dancing with the Stars Atlanta winner and realtor. Come on, let's take a look. Knock, knock. Tammy, I'm here for the Tammy tour. Hi, Jeremy, I'm up here. Welcome to the fabulous Paramount Buckhead, the penthouse on the 39th floor. Let me come down and give you a fabulous tour. I have been to this building many times, but I've never seen a space like this. Tell me about this unit. This is our Beverly Hills Buckhead unit. It is on the 39th floor, two floors, over 4,000 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half baths. As you can see, the views are off the chain, all around. It is amazing here, I'm telling you. We have 24-hour concierge, we have a saltwater pool, we have tennis courts, we have indoor, outdoor movie theaters. Uh, you name it, we've got it here. So I heard you raised a record-breaking amount last year for the Alzheimer's Association. Tell me a little bit how that went. I know that was probably pretty difficult. It was. Absolutely difficult. I'll tell you, Jeremy, I am not a dancer and I had to learn how to dance. And then raising $155,000 was overwhelming, but to see and meet people 
caretakers for Alzheimer's and dementia. It just gave me a drive to keep doing and raising money and for such a great cause. I appreciate everything and um, we look forward to seeing you on May 6th at the Alzheimer's event gala, Dancing Stars of Atlanta. And uh, let's, let's raise some money and uh, break some more records. Let's do it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of American Dream Selling Atlanta. I'm your host, Jeremy Smith, and I will see you guys on May 6th at the Alzheimer's Association Dancing with the Stars event. Be sure to go out and donate to this wonderful cause. Welcome, I'm Bev Knight. I'm the lead agent for the Good Life Group. Lakeland New Real Estate Specialist. I'm also your host for Selling Atlanta from American Dream TV. One of the questions we get most often as real estate specialists on the lake is should I build or should I renovate? So today I'm going to show you two examples of a renovation like this one or a new build and let you decide what works best for you. Let's go inside. For this particular house, it was a great house but older on an A++ lot. So they took the house down to the studs and basically rebuilt it. They had the services of a world-renowned interior designer, Candace Keitel. Candace designed a lot of the elements in this house. They imported all kinds of elements from the United States, from outside the United States, from Europe, and it shows, it's really a show place. And this renovation includes my dream kitchen. I love the counters, I love the light fixtures, I love the cabinetry. The appliances are state-of-the-art. This is just a special kitchen. What makes any lake house special is the lake. Even on a foggy day like today, you can see the lake and it's beautiful. The reason this is such a great lot is it's on the very south end of the lake and coming. It's very close to Beaufort Dam and close to Atlanta. And it has a flat walk to the lake, deep water and million dollar views. It's beautiful. One of the challenges people face is sometimes the basement has support beams. And let's face it, support beams are not beautiful. So they had a creative solution to that. They encased the support beam, then attached a remote control fireplace to it and made it a beautiful feature. And here we are in the terrace master bedroom. There are actually two master bedrooms. This beautiful bathroom has a lot of unique features, but the shower is actually a steam shower. Now that you've seen a beautiful renovation on South Lake, I want to show you beautiful new construction on the north side of the lake. I can't wait for you to see what they've done inside. I'm here with one of my favorite people on the planet, Darlene Plafkin. She's the owner of this house, but she is uniquely qualified to come up with a winning design on Lake Lanier. Hey, Darlene, thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for coming <laughs> over. I was excited to show you the home. Oh, it's just beautiful. Thank I've been you. looking forward to seeing it. What was your main consideration when you started designing this house? Well, it was a 0.20 acre lot, so we have to have a septic in and, of course, the size of the house. But mm -hmm. once, uh, you gotta get with a good builder. Find a builder in your area that knows the regulations and the codes for your area. I know you love the view. Yes. What are some of the things you did to showcase the view? Well, the large sliders. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we did black trim around them, if you see that, so it's kind of just okay. touch you out like toward the trees. Tell us about your light fixtures. I uh, love your light fixtures. Search and search for light fixtures. I wanted something different. So what are some of the elements in the kitchen that you love? I like the backsplash on the wine coffee bar. Okay. Uh, we bought brick and they cut them and called thin brick. Oh, cool. And made the backsplash out of that. It looks like you have a big island and yes. lots of workspace. Quartzite and... countertops. Mm -hmm. So as a person with a design background, how did you make all these elements come together? For me, I don't like everything matching. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very eclectic, so okay. that's where I went in. I like a little bit of rustic, but then some of the lights are kind of modern contemporary. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the, the glass is modern contemporary too. Yes. I think that's neat. It is. But obviously, you want that so you can see the lake, right? right. So. Well, this is a great lot because it's kind of on a peninsula mm -hmm. and has three sides water. That's really hard to find. One of the things we're talking about today is do you renovate or do you build from scratch? Well, how do you weigh those two? How do you decide what to do? Well, I think for an individual, it's personal preference. Uh -huh. It costs more to build a house. Yeah. If you can renovate one, you will save money. Well, very good. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, I thanks love for coming your house. out.
Whether you build from scratch or renovate, you'll love living on Lake Lanier. I know I do. I'm Bev Knight. I'm the lead agent for the Good Life Group and your host of American Dream TV Selling Atlanta. We'll see you next time. American Dream TV. I'm Deborah Morton and we are Selling Atlanta. Today we're in Athens, Georgia with Kelsey Woodard and I'm so excited to show you my home base in Athens. Kelsey, one of my favorite things about Athens, of course, is the football. Yes, of course. It's very popular these days, but there's so much more I have to show you today. Tell me, what's your favorite thing about Athens? Well, I love the shopping and the music. Um, Georgia Theater is located just around the corner. We have some famous bands that come out of Athens from there. We're also going to explore the neighborhood Five Points today. Really? Yes, and it's a very um, popular area with a lot of great restaurants and homes as well. So here we are at the Georgia Theater where many of these awesome bands originated from. It opened in the late 70s. I know, one of my favorite <laughs> bands started here, REM. Yay! And it now has a bustling rooftop bar and restaurant that is an awesome place for nightlife in Athens. Kelsey, we had so much fun hanging out in downtown Athens today. And now, tell me, we're just five minutes from the theater and all, all that area. Just a short drive. Welcome to Five Points area. And we are located just around the corner from a fabulous nightlife, shopping and dining. Uh, and these are the type of homes that you can expect to see in this area. Gosh, the updates are so amazing. Yes. Newly refinished throughout. People love the Five Points area because if you work downtown or at the university, it's a quick five minute commute. It's also just a couple minutes around the corner to a bustling nightlife, restaurants, shopping, things for the whole family to do, honestly. And also, it's a historical area. As you can tell, a lot of these homes have architecture and things from the past, but inside, they a lot of them look like this because we've updated them. And they are beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Well, let's go check out the downtown area in Five Points. Absolutely. We're about to grab a bite to eat here in Five Points. I hope you enjoyed your time in Athens, Georgia today. Thank you for joining us for another segment of American Dream TV Selling Atlanta. And we'll see you next time. Scally Carter with the Scally Carter team with Keller Williams and I am on Canton Street in the heart of historic Roswell and I'm your host here today for American Dream. Today I want to share with you why Canton Street in Roswell, Georgia is a hidden gem. It's a street filled with rustic and historic homes converted to restaurants and shops. You can easily go to a different restaurant every day of the month in the historic Roswell District. What's so appealing about this area is the walkability from a diverse price range of housing, anywhere from attached housing in the low 300s and occasionally in the 200s, up to renovated historic homes over $1 million and new construction over $2 million. Interestingly enough, the old Roswell High School was even converted into residential lofts with an industrial flair. On this historic street, even the Broadwell home was built with granite carried over from Stone Mountain. Today, I want to share with you two of my favorite eateries that are hidden gems on Canton Street, Fickle Pickle and Crazy Love. A 
Okay, we are at Fickle Pickle, and I have Andy Badgett, the owner of Fickle Pickle, with us here today. Thank you for having us and cheering your American dream. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for coming. So tell us a little bit about how you got started. Well, back in 2000, uh, my wife and I opened a fancy restaurant here at this location called Asher, and uh, we did that for three years. Uh, it was probably a little before its time, so we decided to do something a little more casual. So we changed from Asher to the Fickle Pickle, and then this upcoming year, uh, this will be our 20th year here in Roswell. Tell us about this dish. Oh, those are our famous fried pickles, our fickle pickle fried pickles, <laughs> served with our Creole remoulade sauce. We make our own pickles. These are our Cajun pickles, so a little different than dill, but uh, very, very tasty. This place is so fun. It has such a family-friendly atmosphere. You can eat inside or outside, weather permitting. They've got a cute little front porch, and you got a pitcher, or not a pitcher, you actually have a real dill pickle on the front porch. Yes, uh, my dad made that. That's uh, <laughs> Freddie the Fickle Pickle. So I encourage you to come check out this hidden gem on Canton Street, and you have to come get a photo next to Freddie the Fickle Pickle. Let's go head across the street. Crazy Love, and I have the owners of Sandra and Perry Pettit with me here today. And I want to hear your story about how you got started with this amazing coffee shop. Well, it happened through trials actually, but we got, we started praying and what did God have for us? And this is kind of how it started. Um, Crazy Love was born about five years ago. So his hand at work since then in the shop through um, just a lot of people that support us and um, just Bible studies and friends meeting and gathering and enjoying a good cup of coffee. Um, so tell me a little bit about what makes this place so unique. Uh, one of the unique items about Crazy Love is our Belgian Liège waffles. Uh, they are a little bit heartier waffle with pearl sugar that caramelizes when you cook it on the waffle iron. One of the favorites is the strawberry and cream waffle. And of course you have soups and sandwiches. And then tell us a little bit about your store. Ooh, the store is um, got lots of cute shirts and sweatshirts. A lot, a lot of it has love on it, our logo on the back. We have books and we have just gift items, kids books. We just, it's um, just a good place to come in and grab a gift. I know people love to come here, especially if they're having a tough day and it's just a light to brighten their day. And uh, you see people even reading their Bible, which is just, it's, it, I love it. Thank you so much. today. Thank you for joining us here on Canton Street and getting to learn a little bit about the flair and flavor of historic Roswell. I'm Christy Scally Carter, your host for American Dream TV. And welcome to American Dream TV. In today's segment, I'm going to introduce you to Sandy Springs, Georgia. In Sandy Springs, I'm going to show you the great business right here, Perk and Pooch, Scrub Dog Drink Coffee. And we're going to start by dropping off my fur baby, Chanel, for her groom. Hi, how are you? I'm bringing Chanel in for her groom. This is Joe and this is Lexus and they're the owners of Perk and Pooch. And Joe, you said you'd been open how many years? Been open 10 years, It'll be 10 years in January. Wow, and I've been coming for eight and in that eight years, you all have tripled in size. I'd love to hear why and how. Well, I would say the biggest part of it is just focus on customer service. When we first opened 10 years ago, that was really the philosophy is customer service first. That's wonderful. I will tell you that eight years ago, Lexus might remember Chanel was only about this big. And what I loved about it was I could sit right there and have a cup of coffee and watch her be groomed. We are in Perkin Pooch Coffee Cafe. Joe, tell us all about this and how you started this whole concept. Yeah, so what makes us unique is the coffee cafe. 
Uh, we wanted a place where our customers and our clients could come, where they could enjoy a really good cup of coffee or soft serve ice cream. And also take a look at what's going on um, out in the Bay Area where our dogs are being bathed. I just think that's so very cool. And as a fur baby mom, I loved it. I absolutely loved sitting here and watching my dog get cared for. It was wonderful. The city of Sandy Springs has some beautiful home communities, and the Gates of Glen Ridge is absolutely no exception. One of my very favorite sales is this beautiful home, six bedrooms, six baths. I want to show it to you. Come with me. I loved the oohs and the ahs of everyone who tours. Very high coffered ceilings with elegant columns. The oversized quartz waterfall in the gorgeous updated kitchen. Graceful staircase to the upstairs bedrooms, all en suite. Oversized owner suite with a turret shaped sitting room. The incredible bonus room space upstairs is ideal for informal living. And not to forget the incredible outdoor space with the kitchen, outdoor fireplace, and the sport court. Although Sandy Springs is a relatively new city, it's the sixth largest in Georgia, and it's known for the most consolidated medical location. It includes three of the major Atlanta area hospitals. Beautiful city parks like the Abernathy Greenway with swings and climbs provide alternative outdoor adventures. Sandy Springs has some beautiful Class A office space, including the national headquarters for Mercedes-Benz, and the like, the glorious King and Queen buildings, the royalty of the Sandy Springs skyline. The city of Sandy Springs is a relatively new city. It was just incorporated in 2005, so it lacks the traditional southern town square. Well, the new leadership of the city took that challenge on the forefront and they created a 21st century city center. When they created City Springs, they took a little bit of City Hall, they combined it with a performing arts venue. There's a beautiful green where there's nighttime movies and festivals. It's supported on the outside with restaurants, shops, and services. Hope you enjoyed your little glimpse of Sandy Springs. I'm Bobby Schmidt, your host of American Dream TV. Thank you for joining me at City Springs and Sandy Springs. See you next time. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. Hey y'all, I'm Shelly Phillips with American Dream TV. We are standing in Royston, Georgia, home of famous baseball player Ty Cobb, with a population of only 2,600 people. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the Old Corner Hardware Store, and then we're gonna take a look at some loft areas and a small peek of the iconic Ray's Drugstore. It's lunchtime on a Tuesday afternoon, and we are inside the Old Corner Hardware Store, and I am with Kelly Tamplin, the owner. Kelly, tell me how you got in the restaurant business. Well, my dad owned a barbecue restaurant years and years ago, and my, when my sister and I were little, um, he'd have his wait tables, fix food, count out customers, um, change, things like that. So he had us working in the restaurant all through it when we were little. And then I worked 20 years in the dental industry. I learned a lot about how to run a business and things to do about marketing and customer service and things like that. And then this old building came for sale one day and just sort of on a whim. Um, I've always loved to cook and I've loved to entertain. And we just decided to go for it. And here we are, we've been open seven years. Um, so it's worked out really well. Oh yeah, it yeah. has. My favorite place to eat. Okay. So tell me how you came up with the name, the Old Corner Hardware Store. Well, it was a funeral home and furniture store to begin with. Um, and so the, the elevator that you see in the building originally was for caskets and things like that. So I didn't think it was a great thing to name it after a funeral um, store. Right. <laughs> so, um, but the longest history of this building has been as a hardware store. And so that's what people remember and the nostalgia they have. And when you live in a small town, whatever the building was when people came up and grew that's what is you what they, that. yes. So at least now when I say meet me at the old corner hardware store, they know where to go. Right. So.
And then Ty Cobb had some history here. Yes. So we're in the home of Ty Cobb right yes. now. Tell me about that. Yep. There was a funeral um, home, again, like I said, in this building. And they had a flu epidemic in the 1800s. And they were about 13 years old. And up until that time, they used pine planks to as bats. So right here, we have Ty Cobb. And this is Joe Cunningham. And these are likely the, some of the bats that were made here in this building from the coffin scraps. So what's you, what are you most famous for? What dish are you most famous for? I would say we're most known for just having everything homemade and from scratch. But of those things, I'd say probably chicken salad. We're really no, well known for our chicken salad. Um, and chicken and dumplings. If you're from the South, you have to love chicken and dumplings. And probably our homemade desserts. People love our chocolate pie and our red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. It's really, really so red. Good. So, yes. um, and then we also make an orange aid, a fresh squeezed orange aid. You should really try it. I want you should really that. try I'm it. I'm gonna get some of that. I know you have some lofts upstairs. Would you mind if we grab some lunch and then go take a look at that? That'd be great. That'd All be right, great. let's go. I'm hungry. You take the stairs, and I'm gonna take the elevator. Bye. That was so cool, y'all. It still works after all these years. So now we're on the loft area of the building. And this right here is Henry and Mary Carter. They were the first hardware store in this building after the funeral home and the furniture store. So Kelly did a really good job redoing this building and keeping all of that history here. So we've got the Mary studio that we'll take a look at, and then we have Henry's two bedroom suite. Let's take a look. This two bedroom suite is something that I could definitely make home. I love the original hardwood floors. I think it kept the character of the building. It is so cute. Then you've got the brick accents that she kept part of the building. This unit is around a thousand square feet with two bedrooms and one full bath. You've got this peep hole down to the elevator shaft, which I think is a really cool idea that she kept that. The Mary Studio is an open concept with these original hardwood floors again and the beautiful accents. Then it has a great view of the downtown Royston area right on the corner of Church Street. Thank y'all so much for joining me on my episode of American Dream TV. I'm Shelly Phillips, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this episode of the American Dream Atlanta. I'm Molly with Southeast Mortgage, and until next time, cheers to your American Dream. Hello America and welcome to the American Dream, a national TV show centered on real estate, lifestyle and culture.